Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for the next video in this series of building this train station and yard. Um, I'm back from vacation. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I did my last video, but it was time well, well need, much needed. Um, <clears throat> so I've been back a few days and I, I, I figured some things out and some other things I'm still working on. So you can see I've got some things laid out here. Uh, what I've done is these are all the windows from the train station that I built. Um, what I did was I popped all the windows and doors out of this train station. Now I left in these lower ones, these are frosted over. You can't really see through them. They let light through, but not really much else. I'm going to leave them like that because I have some things inside of here that I want to hide. I have, this is the hardware that goes to a uh, Miller, en Miller Engineering, I believe it's called. It's a, it's a light up sign that says Union Station on it. And these are the parts that go to it to make it flash and do its blinky stuff. This goes out to the power. Um, I'm going to hide these a little bit better once it's on the layout. This is how I had it originally uh, in the original setup of the whole thing. Uh, and, and it worked fine, but I'm going to change this, like I said, uh, when we move it down into its new location. Um, so this is what I've got. Um, aside from that, we've got this. Now this I've already gone down and I've glued all of this sidewalk down and this other sidewalk over here. So this sidewalk and this whole thing, it's all put into place. <clears throat> now I've also gone in and I measured out exactly where the lower level is going to go. So this is marked out like this. Now I, I put these tabs on here because I need a way to hold this up on here. I don't want to glue this, okay? This is just not going to hold if I glue around the edge of this. So gluing this isn't going to hold to this hardboard here well enough that I, I feel comfortable just gluing it in place. So what I've done is I added these strips right here and I drilled holes here um, to pass these through. Now these are only temporary. So what I've done is I take these, these are so I can get my placement underneath of where this is going to be. So this sits up like this, that's going to go underneath like this. And what, I do, what I've done is I've done this and then I, I have small clamps that I stick onto these and then I can go set this in place. Now the reason I'm doing this is to get the placement of the pieces underneath that are going to run from from this floor down to the train yard underneath um, to the platforms and and I had to, that that's how I, I was able to get that and you can see underneath here this is where the platform entrances are going to be uh, so let's let's take a look at that. Put this away. And we'll put this to the side. So what I'm going to do is I have these pieces here. I've already cut, started cutting all this stuff, and I have three sides. So what I have these three sides. I have this side right here is also going to go on here. So this goes like this. So we have a three-sided piece. And these are going to sit underneath, right up to the front edge, like this. And they're going to line up with these, these marks on the bottom. So this one is roughly like this, right about like that. Okay. And they're going to sit flush to the front and the back. So once these are all assembled, I'm only doing three sides because this front side, I'm going to use strip styrene and I'm going to make a frame for doors and windows and then I'm going to totally I'm going to glaze with uh, 
the clear plastic like I've done in other places for the, the, the windows in the front. So this front is going to be all glass on all three of the platform pieces. And so, so that's pretty much how that's going to go. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was, aside from this, this right here, okay, what I have, now this is one of the areas that I was concerned about, this front edge here, we can't just leave this, these two edges as a, as a full drop off. So what I did was I bought some of this, now these are concrete sort of guardrails or whatever you want to call them, um, barriers. Uh, they're a 50s style, um, but I still see these, you know, here in New England, I still see these around. They need to be painted. These come in four inch long lengths. They're from, let's see, where are these from? These are Rix products, R-I-X, Rix products. And they come in four inch lengths and I was able to buy just these pieces. These, these go to their bridge kit. And what's going to happen is I'm going to lay this right up on the edge right here, like so. And this, these will glue into place right here like this. And that's going to give me a nice little uh, wall here to, to keep everybody on the bridge. And then we have another one that's going to go down the back side like that. And that, that, like it's, that'll keep everybody in place. It keeps everything right where it should be and, every, and everybody from falling off the bridge. So that's, that's gonna go there. Um, now the other thing is this piece here fits inside here. It's almost the same size. Um, what I'm gonna do, once I figure out, I have this figured out and I wanna, I wanna double check and triple check the positions of these three places here. Once I do that, I want to cut out holes here and here to come out in between these spots. So, so this is where the tracks go below everything. But between this floor, which is the train station, and this floor, which is the, the lower level, I'm gonna cut out a section and I'm going to cut out a section here and I'm going to run a staircase from this floor down to this floor and that's going to be sort of the interior for this. I'm, I'm not going to get insanely crazy with all of that but there'll be stairs that run from here that you'll be able to see from the train station itself. That's why we're changing the uh, glass to clear glass so that stairs will run from this floor down to this floor. And then I'll have elevator bays running, you know, up through right into the train station. And those I'm not building into the train station itself. I'm building that stuff right on here. So the train station will just fit over it. Um, and then I have stairs. Now, I made an order today, so I don't have the stuff to show you. But I, I, I also ordered some stairs that are going to run from this floor inside of here a double set of staircase that runs from here right down into the, uh, the, the, the platform entrances so I have enough to do one two three of these and those are going to run down and then beside that there'll be an elevator and then as far as the train station goes when you're looking in the front door I'm going to put a solid wall across here and then it's going to go right into Let's see, let me get this up. Hopefully you're all following this. It's going to go right across from, from here to here, okay? And then it's going to corner back. It'll connect into these side walls inside of here. So it'll go all the way into these walls right here. So that it'll give the illusion of when you walk in, you, you're, you're, you're walking into a wall and there'll be a small walkway that goes across. And then the, the stairs will be on the back side of this. They'll be back here going down into this lower level. Um, 
and that's about as much as I'm going to do for an interior. And then I'll do, uh, I want to print out elevator doors. So when you're looking through the back side, you're looking in, you're seeing the stairs go down, and then an elevator here, one in the center, and one for the third one. Actually, I'm only going to do two, because this third, uh, this third entrance to the lower, to the lower levels, you, you can see it's much smaller than the other two, and it ends up being smaller because this is where the tracks start curving around in the yard. So I have to angle this one. So this one won't have an elevator, but these two will. Um, and the elevator will run you know one on this side over here and then probably one over here and they'll be facing I don't know which way I'll have to see how that works out but that's that's the idea with all of that that's how we're gonna work that so I really don't have a lot to do right now like I said I, I placed an order today for a whole bunch of stuff it's gonna take a few days for that to come in and then uh, We'll pick up on on where we left off. I don't know. If, I don't know if this showed on on video last time. I didn't have all my lighting in, and it wasn't really things didn't show up really well. But I added in here, right here, right here. So here, here, and I've got another one back here. Um, these are expansion joints that I added into here. Um, so, and then you can see the, the shading I did down the centers. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the idea of what's going to happen in here. That's what's going on. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, so it was kind of hard to sit down again and start these. Um, so, hopefully next week uh, I'd like to get these lower bays done to go into the... Uh, out to the uh, uh, the platforms, and then the platforms I have an idea for as well. Uh, let's see. Here's the old platforms that I had. I'm going to use only this top roof part. I'm going to take my clippers and I'm going to clip each of these flush with the platform down here, and I'm going to throw that away. We're going to put that away somewhere. I say throw away. I don't throw away anything. We'll keep these. God knows. Well, I'll probably use those somewhere else. But these rooftops are going to end up on the platforms below. Um, so the platforms below, because my tracks are spaced wider than these are, these won't work. I was originally planning on reusing these. In total, I have um, oh four lengths of this, I think. Which would have been close to enough, but see, seeing as how my platforms are wider, this is the width of my platforms right here. Now this is the same material I used for the sidewalks on the roadway. You can see the, the grid pattern on here. Um, so that being what it is, when you, when you set this, it, it's, just, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So. Uh, we have to do something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up, I have this 60,000 styrene here, and this is 30 thousandths, I believe. So these two together come pretty close to the thickness of the uh, platform here. I can't put it flat because there's all kind of stuff here, but they're, they're pretty close the two together. Actually, I think I have to triple, I have to double up this uh, this grid. We'll double it up on top of here and that'll make our platforms and we'll let these overhang and then I'll do the curb on here the same way I did the curb on the sidewalk on the roadway above. We'll put a curb and then we'll paint that yellow. Um, let it overhang just a little touch something like that give or take but yeah that's what we're looking at um, so these are the platforms this is what we're going to use I have more of this coming I don't have a, a lot of this so I can't build all that and before I make the the I don't even know what you call these the the, the down parts for the platforms here with the stairs and all before I make that these platforms have to go 
into those pieces so it's actually raised up. So I need to, to get this squared away before I start building the face on these pieces here. If you follow what I'm saying, because these right here, this, this platform is gonna go sort of right up to the end of this, but it's gonna be raised. So I can't build the facing on this until I have this with the right thickness. And we're gonna bring this right inside all the way to the back like this. So when you're looking in and then we'll build the, the, the framework in here and then add the windows to it. And then the whole thing will attach to the bottom of this. And then, as I was saying, I, I had to figure out where the spacing was because to be able to attach this to the road work, I'm going to do something really simple. When I make the um, when I make the parts going down here, and I, I have the spots where the elevators are going to go, I'm going to drill a small hole through here in each of the spots for for those inside the elevator shaft and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bolt it i have i have some bolts and nuts here and washers and we're just going to bolt it right to the hardboard above and then the screws will be hidden inside the elevator shafts for each of them so they'll never show and i'm also going to use those elevator shafts to run the wiring for the lighting that goes in here um, so I know that's a lot of information coming out all at once, um, but this is how my mind works. I went through, I've been running this through my head all during vacation, trying to figure out how this is all gonna work. And I, I think I pretty much got it nailed down. Uh, like I said, I got home and started poking through this stuff. And today I started working on it. And because I don't have the materials, which brought me to the windows here and they're all out now i had to repair a couple they didn't come out so well because they were put in with ca and it you know none of that stuff works very well so some of them broke and i had to repair them some of these some of these uh dividers here broke and they had to be repaired so i re you know i ended up spending half a day repairing a couple of these windows um so that's all set, they're ready to be airbrushed and then I can put the glass on and then stick the whole thing back into the building. So anyway, I, I think that's the whole deal for this for this week and that's the kind of an out overlook as to where we're going with this in the next few weeks and, and how this is gonna go. This is taking a lot longer than I wanted it to only because, well, there's a lot of work here. It's all scratch built. But I think I have it worked out. It might sound like a jumble, but don't worry. It'll get straightened out and we'll have it all working. It'll, it'll all look good. So, um, so yeah, I, I think that's, that's, that's all I got after being on vacation, trying to get myself back into, into my, my train mode. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think. As always, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do. Uh, love to have you, you know, following along as I get this crazy thing built. So until next time, happy modeling.